Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all appropriate ages, good morning. Hope you're having a good start to the week. Uh, watching the Warframe stream on Thursday last week where Meg and Rebecca did the operator-only sortie. And there was talk about it would be more useful if you had Excalibur Umbra because he follows you around. And I thought, my operator still has... Uh, I think I have just one more before I get the amp from Fortuna. Yeah, I've still got this one to build. I've done that one. I just need to gild it. Done that one, obviously, which is the mini BFG of amps. Didn't really get around to finishing off the Mo amp, which is the first one you ever get. But I've got this one. And the one from Fortuna through <sighs> Little Duck is still uh, being built as we speak. So I thought, what other ways are there of just going around with your amp and leveling it up? Because I did a video a while back about leveling up my amps, but I thought, what Warframes are most suitable to help you just go around and just go operator only, for the most part anyway. And so I'm going to just do a little bit of trial and error with a few Warframes that I think are going to be more appropriate and to help level up my amps faster. So with that being said, let's start off with Atlas. Alright, so now we are here. If I activate Rumblers and then go into Opera, I have two personal bodyguards. And I can just go around leveling the crap out of them. The only problem is I will have to go back into Atlas every so often just to reactivate my rumblers. And also I've got my Mo using one of the uh, I think it's the Cryo Terra I think I've got attached to him. So that's gonna prove beneficial. Oh yep so every now and then gonna have to go back. I'm stuck and reactivate my rumblers. Just to go nuts. And another life support capsule is now available. Yep, choosing to go up against the infested with the amount of shite that they spew out of them. Oh, camera went a bit nuts for some reason. Oh, the camera is going really nuts for some reason. What the hell is going on? really got to watch out for where there we go oh, I keep forgetting there's no radar with an operator you have to be and plus I think this amp in particular is just going to blow me up a lot yeah two and a half minutes in we've already got it up a level So yeah, Atlas can prove helpful. Yeah, this amp is doing damage to me as well. Alright, let's have a crack at it with Ember. Well, let's clear the battlefield a little bit. Let's 
so World on Fire is active. And that's going to help keep them at bay a little bit. Look for personal life support modules by following enemies. But I am going to have to be aware that once I have run out of energy, World on Fire is going to stop and I'm going to have to hit my Xenoric. So how much energy? But luckily they drop a lot of energy when they die, so we're good. So yeah, Ember proves very effective for just standing in one spot. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Something blew up. Uh, let's pick up that, shall we? Oh, Amber. I'll take it. Okay, so Equinox. Night form. Rest and Rage, so get to night form and she should put enemies to sleep. But the problem is, you have to keep activating it. And it doesn't always seem to uh, hit everything. Let's see if I can get somewhere a bit more open. There we go. This looks much more. Right. It's been a while since you used Equinox. I'm hitting the right one, aren't I? Yep, I was. Oh, great. Now I've got someone coming up my ass. That didn't sound right at all. Right. Now, one of the most obvious choices on the planet. Uh, what the hell? Transfer out, thank you. Excalibur Umbra. Because this motherfucker will just walk around with you and attack everything on sight. But you have to watch his health. I love my Excalibur Umbra. <laughs> you want to farm all those Repeller Atmos and Gyromag systems in phase two of the new uh, Fortuna quests, or bounties, you take him with you and you just exalted blade the hell out of those Angular systems. But yeah, he is probably the most perfect pick for going around just operator only. Because look at him! And with the Taxon. Jesus! Alright, calm down. You slash dashed into a wall. Mate, I want to do some damage myself. Give me... Give me something. Oh, an orc himself. Yeah, I think Excalibur Umbra was definitely a no-brainer. Right. Gara. Yep. All you've got to do now is worry about 
when holes start breaking. Let's go around. And lay waste to everything that decides to get up to your wall. It's fun to actually go through all your different warframes and see what works best. Right, Hydroid, let's get to it. I think this would be better used in tight corridors. So let's go see if I can find a narrow space to, uh... Ah, I do not like you bastards one bit. Aha, I know a place. Because we are actually right next to it. Life support on the way. And while they're caught in the tentacle swarm, just go ham. Just got to remember to keep going back into said hydroid. Another life support capsule is now available. So yeah, in narrow spaces. Hydroid can be somewhat effective. And I overshot that. The area. The efficiency life support I am delivering is your only chance right, for survival. Let's find the space. There we go. Perfect. Dropped by right, well, you're trapped in there. I think it would help if there were more of you coming this way. Come on, don't be shy. Oh, have I got left on that? Only five seconds. Hmm. Right, let's try that again. Come on in. Don't be afraid. Life support on the way. Yeah. I really thought that hit and miss. But at the same time, I could just throw my secure penta in there and look at it just spin around like a nutcase. Hmm. Somewhat unfortunate. I really thought magnetized would actually work well, but nah, that is not the case, unfortunately. The area. Hold right. On. Emergency life support is inbound. One I've delivered a other particular build that I was particularly looking forward to trying this out with. Let's get into an open area. For personal life support modules dropped by fallen enemies. Right. Where you at, boys and girls? There you are. Let's kill a few of you first. 
just so I can get my shadows of dead out and hopefully yep they're just gonna go nuts but am I gonna have to check on Necrotus' health because Desecrate Will Desecrate actually be necessary? I know I'm going to have to check and go back into him to respawn my shadows as time goes on, but that's anticipated. You seem to be doing alright. So yeah. Necros is definitely good for this. But then again, I expected him to be. Alright, so, next. Cause a bit of chaos on the field. And the enemy are busy battling the hell out of each other, and while they're doing that... Ah, oh, yes. But you are going to have to keep going back to uh, reset it. Where the hell have the enemy gone? Uh, hello? Oh no, you're all here. Come on. What the hell? What the hell's going on? What the? Why the hell have the enemy just randomly stopped? Alright, it works when the enemy decides to actually make an appearance. Life support has arrived. Hey, over here. What is going on? Where the hell are they? Guys, come on. Look, while you're all meant to be confused, I'm meant to kill you. Let's test that out again. Yeah, that can help. It can be effective. And last but not least, everyone's least favourite, Valven. And the camera's going nuts again. Uh, I'm taking damage from somewhere. But his Bastille actually is useful here. You just gotta keep resetting it naturally. Just lure them in and take them out. When the Taxon isn't doing that for you. So yeah, that's just a brief look at what I think are some of the most useful Warframes to use when you're looking to uh, level up your amps or just go operator only and you want a bit of support. If you can find the other Warframes that you think would be better suited for the task or if you think I <coughs> missed one, Please let me know in the comments. I hope this helps some of you with uh, amp leveling. And I shall see you all later.